Code for Resilience, a global initiative by the GFDRR, connects disaster risk management experts with local technology communities to develop innovative technology solutions for disaster risk management. Code for Resilience supports the development of open source software and hardware disaster risk management tools to benefit local needs. CFR provides technical guidance and seed funding to develop innovative solutions with local technology communities through World Bank projects. Developing communities have the especially challenging task of trying to mitigate the impact of climate change. With the help of experts from CFR, countries like Tanzania, Togo, and Haiti, as well as many others, can work towards a more stable future. In Togo at the Nangbeto Dam, FUNIS is an innovative low-cost flood forecast system being developed through the collaboration between nine major hydropower dams, the Red Cross, Red Crescent Climate Center, Togo and the German Red Cross, and the National Platform for Disaster Risk Reduction. This innovative low-cost model uses historic river flow records to compare against current climate conditions in order to better predict potential flooding events. The model's self-learning algorithm enables new data to alter the model's behavior accordingly. The conditions are now similar to what we saw in the past. We anticipate through this self-learning algorithm and some mathematical tricks what may be happening in terms of the flow arriving to the dam. Code for Resilience became aware of the potential that was only a hunch. Modeling the river discharge is a tough challenge. Early tests from Funes are showing very promising results to estimate the discharge using this unconventional approach. Code for Resilience with a small, relatively small amount of financing has transformed the flood protection landscape, has enabled Togo Red Cross to put in place new standard operating procedures that are triggered by a forecast that comes from Funes. In Tanzania, Code for Resilience fellows from the University of Dar es Salaam are working on adding functionalities to the tools InnoSafe and QGIS to inform community-level infrastructure improvements and contingency planning for disaster resilience. In Code for Resilience problem statement, the one of the technology that I use are uh, InnoSafe and Geonode. So InnoSafe is a software program for natural disaster impact scenario assessment. The Department of Disasters managers uh, to evaluate and be prepared in uh, any disaster. Enhancements made to InnoSafe include new functions for elevation analysis to identify flood-prone areas based on the amount of rainfall. Technology mentors from across Tanzania and beyond are collaborating with the team for a bright and more resilient Tanzania. In Haiti, Code for Resilience fellows are working to make the agriculturally dependent economy more resilient through developing the Hydromed data platform, SMS Lapli. Meeting SMS Rain in Creole, this tool helps the Hydromed unit at the Ministry of Agriculture systematically collect, analyze, archive, and disseminate rainfall data from more than 100 agro-meteorological stations across the country. Until recently, weather data was collected using paper, which made collating the data a cumbersome process. By digitizing the process with this open source tool, the National Hydromed data platform can now function efficiently. SMS Lapli will contribute to the strengthening of Haiti's resilience to Hydromed disasters and food security. Through World Bank projects, Code for Resilience will continue to grow the community of technologically minded experts globally and spark innovation to deal with technological challenges. At the pace technology is evolving, open source tools and data will allow developing countries to access the latest technologies and help increase the availability of actionable information for a resilient future.